freedom of information within businesses and educational purposes. Who would like to start? Well, I think that a topic like this could go either way, because you have different types of ethical and business implications of each side. For a start, information that's given away by companies can um, relate to many ethical issues, because companies can give away information about customers if they agree to it. For example, Facebook, they have a policy that lets customers agree to giving away their personal information. And even with the Data Protection Act, it allows that because the users agree to the policy. Now, it brings into question whether that's actually a good thing or a bad thing. And do you think there should be a policy on it, as in stated when they sign up? Mm. Maybe there should be more of an implication and a guidance of whether people should do it, because most people aren't even aware that such a thing exists. Or mature enough to make that decision themselves. Or mature enough to make that decision themselves, yes. But on the opposite end of the scale, uh, other sort of ethical uh, issues, none related to Facebook, but uh, companies that don't give away information, such as sales data, could be price gouging, and a company could do that for many years, and the general consumers would never even know. So it's obvious that it should be, at least primarily for main companies, to give away information like sales information uh, in quarterly, monthly, or etc. reports to give away sales data. Otherwise, as I said, price gouging could be a rampant issue. If you look at it from a business point of view, if you're giving information on the sales, it's likely that the competitors are going to come and use the information that they find from that data and use it to their advantage making their business. Yes, businesses are going to keep competing so. within their own information if they. And that brings up the issue, actually, if they lie about information. A company could easily make up information about um, sales, or even profits. They could pretend that they're making more profits than they're actually gaining to show that their business is doing better than it really is. This will drive competition between them. The problem with that is for Pinding Gate, if they're lying about it, because mm -hmm. there's no real way to detect someone lying about the data unless someone from the inside finds out. Yes, it's this thing about yeah, whistleblowing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. uh, you've got the redundancy of information, so my point to this would be, if you're looking at the sales information within a business, the likelihood, if you're, if you, under the guidance, you'd have to release information every so often, the information would be redundant by the time it would be relevant to the sales information. I'm not really sure that um, redundancy would be a problem. Uh, as long as the information is out there, whether people take an interest in it or not. But then it shouldn't be the policy of it being released. Then it was, if it's not relevant, then it shouldn't be released. Well, this is data, I don't think it's much of a pro problem. Yeah. yeah, its relevancy obviously dates itself because of the other reports coming out ahead of it. But it still gives people a point to look back on to, to see if there are any misconceptions or even, um, what's the word? Uh, like changes between the data, mm. big changes between the data. Um, the next point we've got was the copyrighted information. So it could just be information would have to be thoroughly gone through when looking at what can be released and what can't be released to look at the facts of customer information could be contained within the information. Some of it may be copyrighted from other organisations or within the organisation itself. So organisation itself. Yeah, many companies can get different types of copyrights on different types of information. So, checking information to ensure that it's got a relevant copyright protection on it would be also the sale of information if it is copyrighted between different companies is quite a issue because if a company has one piece of information that's critical to their business that they don't want to release and someone gives it away or sells it, that obviously breaches the copyright and to be able to you find whatever. I think under the, under the freedom of information, if it was to be copyrighted, the information that you have to release could be copyrighted, which then therefore, re therefore prevents the competitors from stealing the information also. Yes. Logically. Um, we've got, the last topic would be educational uh, views on the information. So I think personally the league, league tables within educational you have to release those every so often to look at how the grades are within the schools, which I think shows 
which parents, which which schools they're likely to send their children to, which also helps with offspring. As long as the um, data is anonymous to the students and just the school itself, I think that we... Yeah, if you bring in the whole ethical thing again, when yeah. you potentially reveal people's information that they may not want to reveal. So it's a good idea to keep it anonymous. Yeah, as long as it's just numbers and not names. Because then you've got Ofsted within the, the educational, which then possibly could give biased information. Yes. So you won't want to release information that, for example, an Ofsted works at a school that goes to visit a school which they've got a family member at, they've then got biased information within the school. I think that that 